اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم یا ایوہ الذین آمنوا لا تتخذوا اليہود والنصارى اولیاء بعضهم اولیاء بعض ومن يتولهم منکم فإنہو منہم ان اللہ لا يهدی القوم الظالمین صدق اللہ العظیم رب اشرح لی صدری ویسر لی امری وحل اللقدتا من لسانی یفقہ قولی Before I proceed further, let me explain two things regarding my last lecture. I did apologize to the Yemeni brother that I gave those remarks. I want to add to it that things are not confined to any particular race or country. I must admit none that now these days, the most notorious people in Saudi Arabia are the Pakistanis. And I belong to Pakistan. So we must accept the facts. But you know, a country like Yemen, because they didn't have oil, they were poor people, they worked very hard in Saudi Arabia. And they were a very persecuted lot. Among them there were some, some you know, wrong type of people also. But it was just said in those days, about 20 years back, when I, I performed my first Hajj in 1962. At that time, it was a general saying in Saudi Arabia that among the Yemenis there are thieves. So that came to my mind and I just said, so, said those words. Second thing which I want to explain is that we have heard and we have read Three very stern pronouncements of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَمَنْ لَمْ يَحْكُمْ بِمَانُ اللَّهُ فَأُولَائِكَ هُمُ الْكَافِرُونَ وَمَنْ لَمْ يَحْكُمْ بِمَانُ اللَّهُ فَأُولَائِكَ هُمُ الْفَاسِقُونَ وَمَنْ لَمْ يَحْكُمْ بِمَانُ اللَّهُ فَأُولَائِكَ هُمُ الْكَافِرُونَ And I said that if we look to the Muslims of today, most of us, they come under the, you know, this judgment of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. What's the way out? What can you do? What can I do? How to absolve ourselves of this big charge? Well, I can't change the whole nation, the whole country. So what to do? So there must be some way out. The way out is there. If we decide that we shall all our life we shall devote our energies primarily to changing this system and establish Islam. Then personally, it will be a kafara for us. We have not reconciled with this system. We are not cooperating with this system. We are not after money and property and so on and so forth. If we are devoting all our energies, capabilities, all time, Except for the little that we need for only subsistence, you know, in this world. You need something to eat. You need some roof over your heads. But the minimum subsistence level, we spend our time and money and capabilities only to that level, subsistence level, minimum, and reserve the energies and time and capabilities and everything to establish the deen of Allah, then personally we shall be absolved. This will become a kafara for us. That is the way out. Now let us proceed further. Ya ayu alladhin amanu la tatakhudul yahud awar nasara awliya. Oh you who believe, don't take the Jews and the Christians as friends. This is a very categorical statement. You can have business relations, you can have good social relations, but friendship is something else. Just as I told you, Khullah, wa Allahu Ibrahim khalila. And the Prophet says, La kuntu muttakhidan khalilan, la takhastu aba bakrin khalila. In the same way, all ya, protector, real friends, on whom you depend, 
and this is categorical ya ayyuhallazina amanu la tattakhudhu al-yahuda wal nasara awliya ba'dhum awliya wa ba'd they are friends to each other they are protectors to each other now about these words recently it came to my mind that actually when quran was being revealed this was not the condition they were not friends to each other they have been the jews and the christians throughout history they have been bitterest bittermost enemies to each other then why is quran saying this wherever the christians had the authority and power they persecuted the jews wherever the jews came into power even you know about half a century before the advent of muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam so many christians were burnt alive in yemen by abu nawas a jew king you know was sama zatil buruj wal yawm al ma'ud wa shahid wa mashhud qatila ashab al khudud al nar zatil waqud is huma laha qurud wa hum ala ma yafaluna bil mu'minin al shuhud to which incident this these ayat relate so they have been bitter most enemies to each other it was actually a prophecy for this time which was going to come jews slowly and slowly eroded the christian society entered it from the back door like viruses first of all they divided them into protestants and catholics then they used the protestants you know they rode over them the west white anglo saxon protestants they became the tools in the hands of the jews and now recently they have conquered the catholicism also when they could extract from the pope the verdict that these jews are not responsible for the crucifixion of jesus and now you know vatican has recognized this right and the embassy of vatican is going to be established in jerusalem and pope is going to visit jerusalem isaac rabin he requested pope when he was coming back from washington going back i should say from here going back from washington to to tel aviv and he stopped over in rome and had an audience with the pope and he got a promise that i will come and visit now they have conquered but still they are not friends actually jews have conquered them they are riding them so this is the condition but now they are helping each other for united states of america safety of israel is priority number 1 in everything foreign policy economic policy everything priority number 1 and they say it openly now now they don't fear to say it and proclaim it because after the demise of ussr now because they are the sole supreme power on earth they don't fear to say it out openly so this is the condition which has have has happened today these words were prophetic words of prophecy and denoting to our times ba'dhum awliya otherwise at the time of the prophet they were not friends to each other and they were not friends to each other at least for 1000 years after that it was after the rise of protestantism in europe that they you know started controlling woman yatawallahum minkum and whosoever from amongst you makes friends with them fainnahu minhum he is also from among them very stern warning from allah subhanahu wa taala what is happening today in the arab world i need not say anything inna allaha la yahdi alqaum azalimin verily allah is not going to guide such evil doers